bring some gentle movements into the body. So with the inhale, we're gonna lift the chin, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, arch the back. With the exhale, round the back, allowing the chin to come towards your chest. Inhale, arching the back, lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders, gaze is lifted. Exhale, rounding the back, Chin comes towards chest, belly button towards spine. Inhale, lift the chest, dropping the shoulders, arching the back. Exhale, rounding the back, chin to chest. Taking several rounds at your own pace. One more time, both directions. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. Finishing off back at neutral. Great job, yogis. Go ahead and inhale, one arm up, and then exhale, leaning to the opposite side, looking up towards the elbow, lifting the chest. Inhaling up, exhale, lower that arm, other side. Inhale, lifting the arm, exhale, leaning opposite direction, lifting the chest, gazing up towards the elbow. Inhaling up, exhaling back down. Following the rhythm of your breath, moving the spine side to side, keeping that chest lifted, Inhaling up, exhaling to lean. Lift on the inhale, lower to exhale. One more time, both sides. Coming back to center. Great job, yogis. From here, we're going to remove that block if you're sitting up on a block. And we're going to take a twist. So if you need a block behind your hip, in case your affected arm cannot reach the floor, go ahead and place a block right outside and behind that hip. And you might cho choose to use one on both sides. It's up to you. Lift on the inhale. So really allow the crown of the head to grow long towards the sky as the tailbones grow deep into the mat. So it's as if a string follows the spine, elongating. And then with each exhale, just turning a bit towards the shoulder. So inhale to lift and then exhale, turning towards one side. Inhale, lifting even taller. Exhale, turning a little bit more over that shoulder, placing the hand outside your hip behind you on the block or on the floor. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, twisting just a little bit deeper. Keep breathing. Explore the edge of the pose. Go ahead and gently unwind back to the middle. We'll go the other side. So again, sitting up long and tall, grounding those sits bones into the earth as the crown of the head lengthens towards the sky. Inhale to lift and then exhale to slowly twist. On the inhale, lifting taller. Exhale, twisting a little bit deeper towards that shoulder. The hand is coming to the floor or a block behind you. 
Inhale, lifting. Exhale, twisting. Each inhale, lifting taller. With each exhale, exploring the edge of the twist. Feeling the body, noticing sensations. Keep on breathing. Coming back to the middle, gently and slowly. Good job, yogis. Let's take the Sufi grind. So keep seated in your cross-legged posture. And we're going to grind as if we are a mortar in a bowl. Or as if we're taking our spoon into batter. So rotating at the hips. Allowing the spine to bend and flex. Curve in all different directions. Breathing in and out of the nose. Inhaling forwards. Exhaling, moving back. You can dip your shoulder down if you choose. Your circles can be large or they can be small. Explore the posture and keep breathing. Let's go the opposite direction. You're doing great. Keep breathing, keep flowing. Wonderful. Let's come back to neutral, coming to stillness. Let's inhale our shoulders up towards our ears and then exhaling them down the back. Two more.